I did a tutorial for PEP 8. Uh, on this tutorial, I will talk about uh, more than one variable. I will use more than one variable, and also I will use simple arithmetics like um, addition and subtraction. This will be um, a bit more complicated than previous tutorial, but it will show you how we use the code and stuff like this. So just watch it. So I will do branch and main. So branch it. Now I will declare my variable. So I will do x, and that will be log two and y also block two. Now, I should explain it in uh, the previous tutorial, but I will do it now. At the block and any other thing, all those names, you can write with capitals, with not cap with lowercase, anything. You can write them any like any way you like. It's not case sensitive, so you can. I just preferred it this way. So it, it's just how I do it, and most of people how I how do how they do it. So if you if you do it like this that's okay uh, but if you write it with capital capital letters or, or not it doesn't matter because it's not case case sensitive so now i will do my main and then let's say i will ask for input of what x so let's see of again let's see decimal input x and d okay and now i will load load x now I need to do some kind of calculation so let's say I will add add uh, 2 and I will also add later let's say x to it I will store it uh, in y and uh, Okay, let's say that will be enough for now. I will also create a new program, or it doesn't matter now. So yeah, I, I've add two and I also add the X. So what I can do now is, for example, print them both uh, into the output. So do the calculation and print both of them. So X and Y, uh, I will do it. So uh, so let's see, let's see out, decimal out output so I will output X then if I write another output here it will just make the numbers like together so if um, X will be equal to 5 and for example Y will be equal to 7 it will be 57 this plate like 57 so I need to some kind of so I need some kind of separator so for that reason we can use caro so it's character and we can use only one at a time. We can't use, for example, two characters. I mean, it doesn't work. It's only one at a time. So I use character and then I will uh, output my Y. And I will stop my program and end. Okay, so let's say I will have five. So when I add two, it will be 7 plus again 5 it will be 12 see 5 so that's the original number x and 12 is the actual result so y is y variable this is the result after adding 2 and an x so let's say i will run it on other conditions so for example 7 it's 16 so i add 7 and 7 and 2 so it's 14 plus 2 right this is the add um, program, very b basic program. Uh, let me do with the same with the same um, variables. I will do another program. We just do this and say um, subtract accumulator and say ten. I yeah. and then sub tracks a and then x and then store it in y decimal output now 
and let's say now x and also I will display y so I need some kind of character mostly people use this one as a separator but you can use any sign you can use star hash anything probably but I prefer to use this one and I will output one okay so when I run this I need to put some kind of value so let's say 20 so 20 or oh, minus um, 10 and then minus 10 again oh minus 20 and it's minus 10 so if I for example um, input 5 smaller number so it's minus 10 so 5 5 minus 10 is 5 minus 5 is 10 so for example I will do odd numbers of 3 for example it's again minus 10 so what I do is uh, <coughs> um, decimal so it's 3 minus 10 it's 7 and minus 3 it's 10 it always will be 10 so if I write 10 it still will be 10 56 it will be 10 7 it will be 10 Th this this will not change because of this calculation if I would say change it to this this one I will change this one and something like this and then th this one will change the outcome will change but doesn't matter what kind of value I input it will always minus 10 why because uh, I will do subtract 10 of any number so 45 minus 10 it's 35 and minus 45 is minus 10 so I just I just minus this whole number and minus 10 so it always be minus 10 doesn't matter whatever I put I can put 2000 something free it will be 10 it depends on how how you do your calculations uh, so for example I stored it and but if I want to for example use y again so I will load y and for example I want to do some kind of calculation again so uh, this time I will add accumulator and add 10 and then store it y what this do it probably will zero it yeah so what I did is um, doesn't matter the number so I will do smaller number so that would just easier to explain this so 5 yeah uh, I have 5 I minus 10 so it's minus 5 I minus 5 because it's x so x is 5 so I have minus 5 again so it's minus 10 and I plus 10 so it's 0 and doesn't matter which number I put again it will be always 0 I will call it I will call it uh, like static calculation so doesn't matter which number you put it always will be 0 that kind of calculation you can have many more uses with this this is the basic I'm showing you now uh, in future tutorials I will show you how we do multiplication and the thing is in this mild in this program we can do multiply by 3 so for example and uh, 3 times 4 we can't do it so we need we can only do 2 multiply by 2 and divide by 2 which means uh, we will need to use multiply by 2 a couple of times to get a specific multiplier but that's in the future and this tutorial will ends here I think I cover most of what you will need for a basic program and see you next tutorial. Bye.